morning again folks and welcome back to the channel. Both myself and Claire have came out again uh, today to spend some time chilling um, by the fire. And what we thought we'd do today, we'd do a bit of a scenario. We're going to imagine that they were here camping. We've set our hammocks and whatnot up in the background here. We've processed some firewood and now we're ready for a brew. So, I mean, what we can do, we can simply take the billy can and place it on the fire, like so. But the chances are, as that fire burns down, that's going to shift, spill all over, and we're going to lose valuable resources of water and also put the fire out, or a chance of putting the fire out. Um, as you know, when you go on camps, generally you take a water supply with you. Uh, and if there isn't a water source nearby and you haven't got the preparation kit and the way of sterilising your water, that water is valuable and needing a brew when you get set up, like it goes without saying. So what we're going to do today is make a rod rest, a rod rest, I'm not bloody fishing. We're going to make a pot hanger um, and we're going to go and gather the materials to make that and we'll show you how we're going to do it. Um, so yeah, we'll see you head off. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Right. How are we then? Let's head off. We've uh, came across this hazel. It's quite thick and quite dense and quite overcrowded. Um, and we've seen this piece here. I'll just point to it with this stick. And that is quite straight. It's about perfect thickness and it's got a slight crook in it here. Um, so that area there probably will be perfect for the area where we'll hang the pot. So what we'll do, we'll take this piece out and with it being overcrowded and stuff like that, we won't really do any damage. We'll probably be actually helping um, the uh, tree out, thinning it out instead of it being so overcrowded. So we'll get on with that now. Take the saw out, Claire. Right. Pull it towards you and then put it behind it. Yeah, see how that goes there now. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, watch yourself. <laughs> Just give it a good yank. Yay! Well done. Right, we've got the bits for uh, making this pot hanger. We've got a rest, that'll simply go in the ground. We've got a pole, that'll uh, go in onto the rest and be anchored down at the back. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna use a rock rather than cutting um, another piece of wood unnecessarily. And then we've got this piece. This piece, as you can see, it's got a little hook on. The camera's showing that. Yeah. And we'll put a series of notches down that. And that'll simply sit on there so we can adjust it in and out of the flame so yeah we'll get on with that now we'll get that done eh?
Now we've braided this piece into the ground. What we do is just simply see which way this naturally wants to lie, and then uh, we can we can see where we want to chamfer the end. So I mean, if I'm putting that in there, it's just naturally rolling to that point. So I'll get me Swiss Army knife. We'll put a little mark on that and that's uh, where we know where we need to be uh, taken out. So we'll just take that little bit of bark off and out there. Okay. Sharp, so we're really yeah. shaving that off as you are now. Just like that look, just keep doing that. If it's a bit tough, just take a bit off at the end. And even just use the tip of the knife. Because if you've got using the tip of the knife, right, watch, watch how I'm doing that. If you use the tip of the knife, just bring it down and like, because if you use the tip of the knife, you've just got that little bit more leverage. You know what I mean? You'd rather than wrestling with it. So if you just keep doing that, doing exactly what I'm doing. And what you'll end up with, right, is something like that. You see? So if you keep doing that, there we have, that bit's all now chamfered off and what we've done with the other end is sharpened it into a point simply so we can uh, jab it into the ground a little bit. So what we're going to do now is take the knife and we're just going to create a bit of a groove in this. and then we'll get on with the next stage. Claire done really well with this. Um, she just uh, needs a little bit more practice with the knife skills, but she done really well there. It was a good effort. Thank you. <laughs> first time. For first time. You've never really done anything with a knife, have you? No. No? No, never. So it'll be a bit of a practice for Claire. We'll be making some tent pegs and stuff like that. No. <laughs> no. Just some some little tasks. There we go. You see, is that picking that up? How I've just carved that in there. So now what we'll do, we'll get on with the next stage. We'll put this in place. This piece. We'll take it to the front. And what we'll do, we'll we'll just dig a little cross in there, like so. That. And then what we'll do is we'll simply just take that material out. Like that. Keep doing it. A bit more on the downward pressure. And again. Some more out. There we go. Just keep doing that. Another thing that we can do is for creating that groove we can take the axe and that way we can apply that little bit more pressure into the wood so we'll simply just use the axe rock it a little, little bit even tap it and feel that actually going quite into the material there we go and then what we'll do we'll go back taking that out with a knife and then we'll uh, do another one further down and that should see us done we've got that one done there just needs a little bit of a tidy up and that'll be right there we've go we've got a series of notches going down the stick we've got the little bit there where the pot will hang on 
we've got the pull on the support and I don't know if it's picking it up are we are we getting there yeah just there we've got a big rock that's jammed into the ground with a big rock over so that should uh, hold that in place so now for the moment of truth we'll go and get this on Bacon on the go, that's about done. We've got some water up on there, the pot rest seems to be working really well, so we're quite pleased with that. Uh, we're just going to add some eggs to this bacon, wait for that to boil, have a brew, um, some bacon and eggs, and sit and chill out for a little bit before we head back. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, where the pot rest's working really well, um, water's at the boil there, we can see steam coming out of the lid. We've got some uh, eggs on. With this bacon, oh, God, that's looking all right, isn't it? Wow. Smoke is decided. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> come, change direction and come this way now. As it does, and I'm struggling to breathe. Now I'll take this water off. <laughs> we will give these eggs a few more minutes. We'll tuck it. <laughs> Let's check Let's see how these eggs are looking. Oh, that's looking fine, that like. That's really looking nice. Wow, smoke again. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give them a couple more minutes. Claire's just taking care of the brew. There we go. That's looking good. Now we're going to sit back and relax. Right then folks, that's us both got hot drink. We're ready for that light. And we've got something to eat, because we're both pretty hungry. How hungry are you? Ten, ten out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> so we Claire's hungry. Um, I'm hungry. So we're gonna enjoy the, enjoy this. Um, the purpose of this video was to make the pot hanger. I know a lot of you guys are probably quite advanced with your bushcraft and um, we probably not to do this anyway, but this is predominantly aimed at anybody new to bushcraft, um, as Claire is. So this was uh, to show Claire, because Claire's learning about bushcraft, and she's going to be learning knife skills now after uh, she's had a go at that. A uh, little bit of practice always helps. Uh, but yeah, this is predominantly for people new to bushcraft, and I hope people find it um, useful. Um, we're going to kick back and enjoy this, but uh, thank you very much for watching, I hope you have enjoyed the video, I hope you have uh, found it useful, we're quite fortunate to be in beautiful surroundings and we're going to have to leave you here, um, but yeah, we'll say thank you once again, smoke's coming in this direction now, um, if you're new around here, please subscribe, please hit the thumbs up, please share, and don't forget to hit that bell, um, and by all means, um, stay safe. Well, that goes without saying, stay safe. I'm just waffling. I'm so hungry, so we'll leave it here. <laughs> Bye for now and take care.